how would that work? If we were to do like a roll and move, if we were to make our own snakes and snakes and ladders, shoots and ladders for our American friends, how would that work? I don't know if, I don't think I have the logic for that, but if I would have to programmatically have the piece go for every single thing. I'm only playing. All right, someone bring it. I'm challenging you, chat, to tic-tac-toe. Let's get it. Can you, how can you beat the person who beat, made the game? Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, yeah, P I can show a shiny Snorlax. Um, it wouldn't be fair and square. I could just show you it. It won't have the sound either because I can't trigger the whole thing, but. Here, how about this, Pete? How about this? You'll always be a shiny Snorlax in my heart. What if I do this? Let's see if this... Oh no, the, yeah, the, I'm not in the right board. Here, if I go here, is the is Snorlax gonna jump? No, no it's not. Yeah, it's not set up for that, unfortunately. Okay, we can do a dice thing here. Let's clear this. Let's... Um... Let me go and steal the Snorlax tech and we'll make, we'll make a dice. Text. So this is one. We'll put it here for now. Um, text two. Text three. Much love to everybody in the chat, BT Dubs. Again, this is not what we had planned for this morning. Um, but we're trying to make lemons out of lemonade, as I, I tend to say to uh, my wife all the time when things don't go as planned. Sometimes you just gotta make do. And yeah, I I'm still find it kind of crazy that... Uh, People are tuning in. Text uh, five. And so, yeah, we the tic-tac-toe works. If you're interested in the tic-tac-toe, um, it's exclamation point X01 or X1 through X9, 01, 09. Glad you're still streaming. Oh, thank you, Ian. Uh, I'm glad you, you appreciate uh, me still being on, even if it's not the thing uh, that we came on to do in the first place. And so let's go build. We're going to build a randomizer here. So this, this, we're going to use like dice as a model here, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's two ways to do this in the Orin board. One of them doesn't work well for me. Um, we're going to do the old fashioned way, which requires a little bit of code. And let me go and flip the Orin board back on here so you can see it. Um, this is this is the actual board where all the stuff. Ha this is the room where it happens, if you will. Shout out to Hamilton. Uh, this is all the functions for the 720p build. Here's everything for 1080p. Um, there's two ways of making a randomizer. One of them uh, requires some programming. So let's look at the... Like, there's all this gnarly stuff here, and it actually requires an INI file to make it work. Um, the other version is called Stacks, which I tried to make work for Haley. I find it very inconsistent. 
edit commands. Yeah, so this is the logic I tried to program for Haley. And then there's a randomizer here, which doesn't require you to use a file, but it keeps breaking for me for some reason. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way for the purposes of this dice. Um, let's use this bottom row here and we will create a new button. And this is going to be called one. And same idea as last time, add commands. What do you guys think of this music, by the way? Source change visibility, item, just one. Visible, true. Done. And we will replicate, add Twitch triggers. Uh, no, we don't want to trigger yet. Don't want to trigger yet. And I'll show you why in a second. Copy, paste, change text to edit commands, change this to two. Done. Paste, change text three. Edit commands, three, done. Create new oak paste, change text, four. So again, we did tic-tac-toe, it still works. Burning punch, it's like object oriented here. Hey, dude, burning punch, long time no see, how you been? Again, we were trying to play Overwatch, my internet is being terrible right now. And I thought we would do uh, something a little different. I have these ideas about how to build like a Twitch plays thing. And I'm doing, trying to make the best of a bad situation, my dude. <laughs> um, we can't play Overwatch, but we have built a chat controlled, um, a chat controlled tic-tac-toe. If you guys are interested, I'm trying to build, uh, we're trying to build chat controlled dice right now um if you guys want to see the tic-tac-toe i'll show you guys that again actually the command still works i have just covered the screen with my setup here but yeah burning punch how you been catch me up on all the things since the last <laughs> no it's been a while don't worry about it uh but yeah i hope you're doing okay i hope your fam's doing okay in light of all the things happening in the world And one more, six. Edit command, this is gonna be six. Done. Change text. So what we've done here is we have built commands for, if the randomizer picks one, it'll be one. If it's two, it's two, and it'll show all of those things. It'll show each number as it's pulled, right? And we'll have to make a clear as well here. So let's um, create new button. Uh, dice clear. Actually, no, we can use the same clear. Let's use the same clear as tic-tac-toe. <laughs> oh, hold on. Edit. Add commands. Here, I'll rename this. Change text. Um, oh, this is going to be a pain because the... The number is going to show if you want to reset the value. Yes, you could absolutely use this to let the chat do dice rolls for you in streams. But yo, can't play Overwatch internet issues on their end. Uh, on my end, the upload speed is terrible. I could probably just play Overwatch by myself, um, but the stream would be completely garbage. And yes, Ian, you could absolutely use this to let the chat do dice rolls for you and have the dice show up on the screen and everything so yeah take notes <laughs> um edit commands actually here this is what we will do ah you haven't played that in months ah no worries i mean it's been a little slow in this is what we're gonna do so after each thing we're gonna have it show the value and five seconds later, we will have it clear. So check this out. 
check this out. The way you do that, we'll copy paste and then we'll switch this to false and we'll change the delay to 5,000 milliseconds. That way after it'll show the value and then five seconds later, it'll clear. All right. So we'll do that for all of them. But yeah, Burning Punch, if you haven't been playing Overwatch, what have you been playing? And yeah, so Ian's got heads probably spinning now at the possibilities here of like, what? The chat can roll dice? Maybe the chat can also play- There's- it's a whole thing. You can do a lot with this. It's pretty crazy of what you can do when you really put your head to it. Like, I hadn't even thought about the, the chat, like, control- being part of, like, D&D. False. Also, I have a feeling that this is, uh... Done. Edit commands. That's- that's fine. Edit commands. This is... This is the wrong value. So this has to be four, and this has to be four. Done. Edit commands. Five. False. 5,000. Done. And edit commands. Six. True. Six. False. 5,000. Done. Okay. Definitely feeling the music. Awesome. So, um, this is from Harris Heller's Stream Beats. You can find it on every platform. Um, royalty free, copyright free. Just use it wherever you want. You can find the playlist on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. He doesn't pay me, I swear, but I'd love a Stream Beats sponsorship. Dude, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Uh, this particular album is called... There's two albums. There's one called Lone Wolf and one called Renegade. And then the EDM albums that are out that I was playing earlier on stream, it's Stage and lights all right so we should have the command set up so that when the die is rolled it shows the value and then five seconds later it clears now we have to build the randomizer and there's two different steps to this so we're going to copy the old snorlax randomizer copy and i'm going to paste it here and we are going to change the text to dice randomizer. And you guys, oh, you can't see when I actually oh. edit command. So there's this whole mess of commands, right? Um, I can't explain the particulars of how all of this works. And I'm going to switch Snorlax with dice in all of these sections. So maybe take a screenshot here, math. These are the number of values here. We're going to start minimum value of zero, max one. Actually, let's let's adjust it here. Let's go one to six, and I hope this doesn't break. So we're going to go one to six, so it matches our die values. And we're going to make an INI file called dice.ini. Section dice key dice dice select variable name dice selector dice selector false so copy all of this done the next part of it is i'm gonna need to go into my my source files and let's see if i can even show this um stream assets leor or is it where is the Orin board two? Um, the Orin board receiver. Okay, here we go. Let me show you. Here, I'm gonna copy an existing INI file. Copy, and you guys can't see this right now. Paste. Here, can I change this window capture? To, how do I stream label sound capture? I don't think I can show this. Weird. There's no Windows Explorer option at the moment, which there usually is. Okay. We'll leave it for now. 
here. If I open up... Oh, that's the wrong file. Snorlax 2 copy. We're going to rename this to dice. I called it dice.ini, right? Edit commands. Uh, yes, I call it dice.ini. Cool. Um... Where is my INI file? Dice. Okay. And let me see if I can share this. So you can see, like, the coolest part of this whole thing. Notepad. All right. What you are looking at right now on the screen is this is the logic for Snorlax and how it works on the back end. And the way it works is that these numbers, there's 50 different, 0 to 49. There's 50 different Snorlax entries in the back end. And all of almost all of them are tied to 64. And 64 is the button ID. So let's go back to Leoran board. And as you can see here, the regular Snorlax is tied to button ID 64. So when the randomizer pulls a number between 0 and 49, if it's anything other than Snorlax 3, let me switch back here. This is very clunky because I don't have them set up as a, a separate thing. If it pulls a number, it's the randomizer pulls a number between 0 and 49. And if it pulls anything other than number 3, it'll show you a regular Snorlax in item 64. If you get Snorlax 3, you will trigger button 65, which is the shiny Snorlax. So that's the one you are looking for when you are trying to play the Snorlax game. Otherwise, I've now copied this file. It's an INI called Dice. And we're going to call that Dice. And we're going to blow out like all of these entries. We don't need any of this stuff. Hopefully, I'm not actually ruining the uh, this core Snorlax file or I'm going to be very upset. Again, I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. We are experimenting with making chat-controlled uh, Twitch games. These are very limited in scale. We're trying to make a die dice now. So we're going to go dice one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Those are our six die values. And let's go back to the Orn board. And... We need to know the values of one through six here. So taking the boy home. So lurking while driving. All right. Take care, Pete. Drive safe. Apologies for this not being the uh, the most ideal stream again. So the buttons 104, 105, 107. Oh, that's weird. 107. So let me update. The, I know you can't see as I type these. So button one, 104, 104. Button two. 105. Uh-oh. Button 3. 107. That's... I must have made a mistake somewhere along the way. Uh, number 4. 108. Number 5. 109. And number six, 110. All right, so when we switch back to uh, the note file, as you can see, I've got the dice values 104, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 con mapped to dice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's go and save that. Close. Is this still an INI file? Yes, it's still configuration settings. And so, if we go back to Leoran board, what should happen now, now that it's hooked up to the file, edit commands, is that value name dice select, it's going to roll random, and it's going to pull a number between 1 and 6, and when it pulls that number, it'll hit the button that is corresponding to the thing. The way we can test this is, actually, we can test this right now. So window capture zero, hide that. Uh, let's open. I don't actually use the receiver part, the part of Leorn board. That's the actual stream deck. I never use. 
Uh, but this should this should actually work. Done. Done. Connect. So when I hit dice randomizer here on my screen, three, four, five, gone. Yes. Okay, let me show you what's happening here. Window capture. Um the Orn board stream deck. So this is the actual interface. Like if you were to get the Orn board and just use this as your stream deck, uh, there should be a button here called Dice Randomizer. Yes. So when I click on this button, Dice Randomizer, it'll show the number. It'll pick a random number. So there, I pick six. We hit it again. Different number two. Great. Now we have to map. A, a Twitch function to it so you can control the die. And we can get more fancy. Like if we had picture of a like picture of dice, we could use that instead of text. We're just being like super rudimentary here. Let's go back to Leorn board, the receiver. Go back to this deck. We're going to go to the deck randomizer and we're going to add a trigger. And so we don't want the poke flute this time. Uh, we want a chat command. Let's call it roll. So chat message. Exclamation point roll. Done. Done. Okay. Now chat need your help. Exclamation point roll. And you should be able to trigger a random number. I'm realizing here you could also do like a simple rock, paper, scissors. All right. So Ian got a four. Let's see. Can someone beat a four? Exclamation point roll. And yeah, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. The internet seems to be a little more stable now. I wonder if it's like we could actually play some games. No one else wants to roll? All right, I will roll. <laughs> Unless someone beats me to Oh, there it is. Just as I said it, internet drops. So yeah, maybe we'll just stick with this instead. Here we go. Roll. Oh, I tied. There it is. Oh, Randy gets a two. I was thinking of like, can you do like a blackjack and like add values on top? I think you can. But that would require stacks and I've had issues with stacks in the past. We can try and program a stack and see if it works. Though the problem is like there, one of the things I cannot stand about Leorn board is that there's an, the error message, quote unquote, is it plays like a song that people use in memes that's like copyrighted. I don't want to trigger an error message here and then play that song. So we're not going to do that. And it's like a really annoying song. Like I would much rather the app told me, hey, this thing doesn't work because of such and such, other than just like blasting this really dumb song at maximum volume. <sighs> Anywho. So yeah, that's how you build a, a randomizer in Leorn board. That is how Snorlax works. The This is how... And if you want to do it with channel points, the only difference... Let me show this again. Is that... Oh... That's not it at all. <laughs> um, the way you would do it is you would go and under Twitch triggers, instead of like me typing in a chat command, you would pick points and then just make sure that this name is spelt exactly the same as the channel point reward in Twitch. And once that's set, then it'll do that through chat po channel points instead of through chat commands. Hey, Gally, welcome back. And yeah, we can try and do this through stacks. Oh, no, I don't want to trigger the error. 
I don't want to trigger the error. But yeah, all that stuff works like that. Snorlax works through that way. Haley works through that way. Um, yeah, like if you want to... Oh, I don't have the Haley graphics set up here, but... You ate a salad. Mm, Gally, type in exclamation point rule. Salad and peanuts. Nice. You're trying not to eat snacks. Snacks are delicious, though. All right, so Gali got a one. Can someone beat a one? <laughs> Mixer is going down in a few weeks. Yeah, RIP Mixer. I... Not gonna lie, my initial... Gut reaction was to, like, laugh at the news. But it's actually really sad. Like, the fact that there were hundreds of thousands of streamers there who and many who like bet their careers on that platform hoping to be something different and like for microsoft to just pull the plug the way they did was terrible now i got twitch and youtube i mean that's not the worst were did, were you a big fan of mixer burning punch dang it i was beat ggs <laughs> uh but yeah that's that that's dice so we've built a dive we built a how about if we make you stream occasionally anyways ah okay here let's make a like a very rudimentary game here um we'll use existing assets that i have here let's find what what images can i pull pictures video here okay here's a here's a picture of ice cream right here's a picture of ice cream we're gonna try and get to the ice cream i'm gonna make a board <laughs> um hold on four three two one can i move all these we're going to put the numbers by my head over here. Let's go build a game out of this. We'll lock that in. We'll lock my face in. Uh, the tic-tac-toe stuff will lock in as well. Give me a second here. And we will um, hide all these numbers. If, if you guys want to keep messing around with the dice, uh, feel free to do that. I'm going to build like a very rudimentary board game here. And let's <laughs> we're going to build basically our snakes and ladders where we're going to have like we'll have a starting character. We'll try and go up to the ice cream and then we'll we'll have people play it and see like how fast they can get to the ice cream. You got seven followers on Mixer and I deleted my Facebook and no intention of going back to it. So no Facebook gaming for me. I actually started on Facebook. I streamed on YouTube for a couple of weeks. Then I jumped to Facebook for like a year and um, I, I did not like it there. I thought that Facebook did some really scummy stuff to kind of trick me into thinking that I had more of a following there than I did. When I streamed there the first few times, I was getting hundreds of viewers and then they would serve me ads. Like, they would serve me, they would try and get me to buy ads, and then when I didn't buy ads, like, nobody watched me anymore. And I thought, like, oh, I, it's just, like, I'm having a bad day, uh, people aren't coming to show out, maybe it's because I was playing this game the first time, and now that I'm not playing that game, like, it was a whole thing, it was all crap. It was all the Facebook algorithm stuff, and, um, I did not like that about the Facebook streaming experience, so I jumped over to Twitch after that. I don't think anyone likes Facebook. <laughs> uh, I, it's going to be an uphill climb for Facebook for sure. They do have, there are some, definitely some advantages though. How can I type, is there a way for me to type a square? Hmm. Here, image, image. 
Do I have any just loose images? Stream assets. Um, emotes, channel point rewards, D&D. &D. Here. Okay. This is going to be our character. That's going to be our, our avatar for this game. It's get jet to the ice cream, okay? <laughs> and let's build a very rudimentary board. Text. How do I make just like a... What's the ASCII code for just typing in a square? Or we'll... No, let's just find an image that we can use. And for those just tuning in, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Person look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. And I'm trying to build some games on stream that work. Uh, it It's hit and miss. I mean, actually, we built Tic-Tac-Toe and we built Dice. I'm trying to build like a very simple sort of um, snakes and latte, snakes and lattes, snakes and ladders sort of game right now. We'll throw Haley in here as like a, a back two. <laughs> Actually here, this is the jet to the Haley. All right, this is this is the game. Jet to Haley. <laughs> um, ice cream, no. Image, I just need like, They never miss, huh? <laughs> make sure you get ice cream. But can you make sure that I get to Haley? Can you make sure I get to Haley? You hate ads on anything. Ads, I know, ads are very annoying. Um, but they're they're kind of two, three, four, and let's say there's um image. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's make another image. Ads kind of work for business. I mean, there's another way. There's other ways to do it, but um, subscriptions and whatnot. I don't know if everybody would want that. Six, seven, eight. Let's copy this. But you guys see what I'm doing here, right? One, two. Actually here, we'll go like this. Go here. Here. Okay. So here, here is the hypothetical game. I have not balanced this. This is a Actually, let me make um, back two. Okay. How can you make? How can you make a lot of money using ads? I don't understand it. I tried. Uh, I'm tired of paying for YouTube premium to eliminate ads for a month. Um, like, what do you mean by how do you make money using ads? Cause, um, yeah, you like ads do generate money for, for Twitch. They don't generate money for us. <laughs> and yeah, they're a crummy user experience, but um, the ad rates that they charge uh, make it worth their while for Twitch to run ads. That said, I think the Twitch ad experience is very poor. I don't like the implementation of it. Um, I don't like the, the lack of targeting. It's way less specific than the ads on YouTube. Companies use ads to make money, yes. Uh, they charge a lot of money for those spots and companies are willing to pay because they reach an audience uh, within their demographic. And in particular, the Twitch audience primarily, and I'm not trying to say this like to discriminate against any particular, I know like everybody's on Twitch. Uh, the vast majority of users on Twitch are, are male uh, within like 18 to 34 and maybe even younger than that. And they're really hard to hit with ads. But you know what? They love Twitch. And when Twitch goes to 
these sales meetings, they say, hey, you can run your ad in front of your demographic, which is hard to hit anywhere else. It's hard to get them on TV because they don't watch TV. It's hard to get them on like regular browser browser things, but they spend so much time on Twitch and that's how they get them. On YouTube, they make money with ads by making videos over 10 minutes and then put as many ads in there as possible. That's another thing as well. Whole other discussion. All right, so here's the game. All right, this is called... Here, you guys can call the game whatever you want as well. I'm taking names. Uh, you're going to roll the dice and then you will move that many spaces up on the board. If you land on a red, you will go back two spaces and eventually you will hopefully you will get to the Haley. And if you get to the Haley, you win and we can try and see who can get there the fastest. Unrequited love TM. All right. Thank you. Ian. Do you want the honors to play the game first? So just exclamation point rule. Says there, since there's no logic for the character moving along the board, I will move the board manually. So yeah, type in roll, and then I will move the character that many spaces. Dun, dun, dun. And if, any, if you're just tuning in, I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Wait, why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Oh, you have to type in just exclamation point roll. Okay. I got it. You can't type in a message along with your thing. Just roll. Exclamation point roll. Go yeah, you can't type in other words. It has to be exclamation point roll. But this is good that we're testing this out. It has to be just the command. Boom. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a two. Galilee went one, two. All right, <laughs> keep going. Oh, Jet's waiting, Jet's waiting. <laughs> five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, back two, back two. So what is that, like three rolls so far? <laughs> two one two oh no back to <laughs> damn <laughs> hmm i know what we can do i know what we can do no in this game we will not do do that one i think i have some more logic that we can do to make this game work make this game a little better We'll try and speed run getting to Haley. Someone type in roll one more time. Two, there it is. Ta-da, we got to Haley. Yay. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna oh can we do that each time can we make the randomizer go plus one edit command let's um let me see let's pull the orange board back up ah yeah the 30 second limit for that I would have to turn that off as well darn okay Mm. Let's go back to the Orn board here. The thing I want to figure out now. Is, is there a way that after each roll, it would change the number going up? I don't know if we can do that or what the com I bet you can. I don't know what the logic would be to make that work. If we added like math change value uh, value name of K 
counter. Ooh, yes. So there is something. Value name of... So there is a thing here in Leorn board. Math change value. Hold on. Cancel. Let's see if we can figure this. I have no idea. We're going in blind now. Everything I've shown you I'm familiar with. Let's try and build a thing where each time I do the function, it changes a number and adds one to the number. <laughs> Edit command. So these are the commands that we have. Actually, I should show you guys this better because maybe you can help me. If anyone's got any like computer programming knowledge, this might, your help might be invaluable here. Value to value, value transition, random, string to real, clear value, pull source value, pull filter visibility. Hmm. Yes, value. Because <laughs> there has to be... I wonder if you can control... Because there's probably more steps than this. Like, change value name of, like... How does value work in... Cancel, cancel. Edit switch triggers. Nope. In the randomizer. How does that work? Edit commands. Math random. Value name. Dice select. Minimum one. Load string. Trigger button. Hmm. Yeah, that, I, I'm not sure I'm going to know the, the answer to this. Because one of the other things I want to figure out with this is like one of my ultimate goals for the whole Haley enters the chat. There was a stream where I had Haley and she set her messages. I want to set that up in such a way where you would type the message and then the Haley picture would show up and then your message would show up on screen. But I don't know how to pull the text of your message on screen. That is the thing. That is another thing I don't know how to do that I think is possible with this thing. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Math value to value. Value name math is like plus. Yeah, I don't I don't actually know what that would do. You got to get going. Good to see you still around. Yeah, thanks, dude. I I appreciate you coming by. I know it's been a while, um, but I do recognize the name and I remember that. And I think like one of the you're like one of the earliest followers of this channel. Uh, so I appreciate you still checking in again. Um, this is not what we normally do. You can go check the, the VODs and see what the streams are like these days. But I appreciate you dropping by and your support after all this time. Thank you, dude. Take care. Yeah, Burning Punch found me like way back in the beginning. <laughs> okay, I'm not... What else can we do with this thing? Hmm... The 30 second limit on chat. I think that might be something I can do on my end to, to take off. Is that something I can even change? Um, moderation. Chat rules, follower mode, subscribe only chat. Um, ban chatters. So, uh... Custom settings, block terms and phrases. Yeah, it doesn't give me the opportunity to like change the timer that allow people to uh, send messages quickly. Hmm. Okay, noted. What else could we do with this randomizer?
I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, that that's the Orin board right there. Um, if you're interested, you can download it, hook it up to your stream. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but if you have any interest in setting this up, let me know. Uh, and we can try and figure some stuff out for you. It protects you from spammers. Yeah, it, this is true. This is true. Mm, what other things? Knowing what you know now about this Lioran board thing, about like being able to show hide sources, um, being able to randomize what's here. You don't have normal. You're too much of a tech dummy. Uh, yeah, this is the big thing. Lioran board works on regular OBS. Otherwise, you can't do stuff like this. The virtual chat, the virtual cam. Um, Leorn board doesn't work at all in Streamlabs OBS. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, if you, if you really like Streamlabs OBS and it does what you need it to do, uh, stick with it. Can you do a memory game? Um, hypothetically, yes. Logic wise, no. I think the problem would be that I could show hide two cards, right? So you show two cards. Um, I can make it so that they show up. I can make it so that they show up and disappear after a certain set of time, but I can't make it so that if you get two matching cards, it stays on the screen. 